And welcome back guys and look what I found today. Some diamonds after I did go back and get some torches because it was really a pain in the butt trying to mine without torches. So alright, let's see how big this diamond deposit is. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's big. Five. Six. We got six diamond out of that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's just pick up some more ore. Right here and make our way home. With all those materials, I think a lot of this is worthless, but I've got a fair amount of uh, decent materials that I can process. And now that you've seen my mining cave, and diamonds. Nom 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 nom. I can eat them. Let's see. Let's hop up here. Go over here. I'll probably need to hop back over there. Okay. Now we also need to go check to see how well uh, our fuel's doing so far. So we're gonna go see how that's going. Okay, come this way. Because we're not that far away, the chunk should still be loaded, but you never know. So we're gonna go over here and check on it real quick. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually. Is it running? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's running. It's making fuel. And that's great because we're going to need a lot of it. Close the door on myself. Not fun. Alright, let's drop off some minerals. Drop off all that beautiful lapis. And these. Also got some water shards. And a little bit of redstone. Lemon ore, I can't completely process it right now. I can smelt it, but it doesn't give me that much, so I'm just going to store it for now. Let's see what else I have. Silver, black zirconium. Hmm. A few useful things. Let's go down and process them. Here, drop some ferrous ore, some silver, some titanium. Nope, cinnabar doesn't work. Alright, and just drop the rest of this ore in here and I'll sort them later. Go up here and dump this stuff off. Got one single emerald. Yay. Emeralds. Blue zirconium. Nicolite. Lots of nicolite. Some lead ore here. But I'll sort this. I'll process this later. That's no fun right now. Mozart, Mozart, whatever. Call it Mozart or. Okay, come over here. Alright, full barrel. 
and dart barrel. Cool. Well, that's good for now. Hmm. Since we're starting to get fuel, I'm probably going to make a fuel room downstairs or something. And then that'll be our storage for fuel. And then we'll be able to pipe that out into our other machines. But first, let's see. Is there anything I can make? I do have a diamond gear. Let's see. Is there anything fun we can make with this? Okay, we can make this quarry. We can make an assembly table. Phase transport pipes. Builder. Architect table. Output module. Arc furnace. Remote order. Provider logistic pipes. Oh, this stuff is fun, but that's expensive. Hmm. Actually, let's show you some uses of sawdust real quick, considering I have it over there. Alright, you just take sawdust like that, and then put them like this. And it turns it into compressed sawdust. And what can you do with this compressed sawdust, you ask? Well, you take it here, you plop it down, and it makes charcoal. Charcoal's pretty useful. It burns just like uh, regular old coke uh, coal does. So you can have that. But as for right now, I'm just kind of mucking around trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. while waiting for this fuel don't need any more trees not sure what I want to do right now well as you can see here this uh, fuel burns for a very long time because I put in two buckets here a piece and they're just still burning like crazy and they're not even going anywhere really so that leads me to wonder if I'm able to do something like just one massive engine room down near my farms and then just keep them running from there or should I just add another peat engine to both of these and just make an engine room to run my assembly tables and whatnot through a phase pipe or something. I mean granted I would still lose some MJ because of how far I would have to travel but don't we lose uh, power in real life through power lines? Or we could do something like this. Let's see. Maybe this is cheaper. Nope, this one's actually not cheaper. Okay, let's try redstone energy. And this is from thermal expansion, I believe. <laughs> yes, this is what I want to make. Uh, redstone, conduit, lead, electrum redstone energy frame okay I need to do molten redstone and that's made with hardened glass and electrum hardened glass I need pulverized 
obsidian and an induction smelter. I think that's what we're going to work on today. Induction smelter. How do we make this? Bucket, machine frame, and a var ingot. Copper, machine frame. Hmm, how do we make Innovar ingots? Innovar dust. Iron and nickel. Okay. Iron, iron, nickel. Two iron and one nickel. Okay, let's uh, go downstairs and craft that then. Before those mobbies get to me. And how many of those are we going to need? Two. Two in of our. So let's see if we have some iron down here. No, but I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have some nickel. Or these machines have run out of power? No. Are you clogged up with something? Just didn't want to go. Interesting in a bar. I need craft this iron. Take this nickel. We're out of peat in these engines. Luckily I brought this along. So let's just drop 16 in here. Here. It's been a very long time since I've dropped anything in these things. So they've actually run for a fairly long time. So I'm not going to complain. Alright. Thing looks filled up over here. Cool. Why is it not... I don't understand. That's interesting. But we need some of this iron dust. And dust. That gives us three in of our dust. That's more than enough. So I'll take this dust and process it. And we'll get some in of our ingots. And copper and redstone reception coil. Redstone gold. Okay. Easy enough. Let's see what we can get upstairs and craft real quick.
Redstone. Gold. Pocket crafting table. Makes everything easier. Alright, just make two of those in case we need an extra one later. Now we need a machine frame, gold, iron, and glass. There's iron in here, so it's okay. Like that. We should still have a little glass over here. Yep. Little glass. There you go. There. There. I don't have any copper down here, do I? No, I could have sworn I had copper down here. Guess not. Oh well. Let's go upstairs for copper. And then we should be able to get our smelter. Come hither, copper. And Innovar. And a bucket. Man, I am really slow today. Bucket. Do I not have a bucket? I swore I made some earlier. Oh, there they are. Ha! Got them. Probably gonna make more later, so... Bucket. And machine frame. Induction smelter. Alright, where should we plop this down? Probably just right on the line. That seems to work. I'll probably take more time off camera to rearrange this stuff, but for right now, I'm just happy these things are working. So, with induction smelters, you're going to need a couple things. So, we've built this. Useful as it is. Can't do much with it right now, because I don't have any polarized obsidian. So, I'm probably going to take one of these buckets. Oh, right here. and go pour some water down there and get some obsidian. But, to do that I need to waste diamonds. And right now I don't feel like dropping diamonds down there. So, after I get this fuel completely sorted out, I think we're gonna make a little run. 
down south. Decent amount of fuel. Alright, this should probably be enough to get us started then. And thank you for watching. See you next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.